This is a topic I see online all the time, and it goes a little something like this. When I park my Tesla or other EV, why do I come back out to the car and it's lost battery range, even though it's just sitting there? <laughs> I've got seven reasons why that could be happening, so join me and I'll let you know what they are. Here's a reason for you. Check outside and see if it's cold. If it is, and winter conditions, it might be the reason. It's just the nature of batteries and cold and physics. It just loses range, and that's just how it is. Also, Teslas like to maintain their battery temperature, so it might actually be doing something in the background that you may not know. So cold is definitely a factor. We interrupt this finely crafted video of the seven reasons why your battery might be draining while you are away from your car to ask you to like the video if you like this sort of content, as well as subscribe to the channel. It means the world to us and only takes seconds out of your day. All right, back to the good stuff. Mmm, so hot outside. It's nice to get a cool drink. Oh, yes, hot outside definitely a factor much like the same reasons as cold is a factor battery and heat and physics and all that stuff could be depleting your battery when you park it outside and leave for a few hours the other reason is your tesla might be maintaining the battery temperature and cooling it off which is also why you may find a puddle underneath your car even though you're not using the ac it's condensation it's just your car checking out making sure that the battery is at optimal temperature. Also in hot weather, if you're using cabin overheat protection, that will definitely deplete your battery as well. And oh, by the way, it does nothing to protect the car itself. Check out this excerpt from the manual. It's only good for humans. Like if you forget a kid in the back seat or whatever, it will maintain the temperature that you set. I believe it's 90, 95, and 100. Still hot, but not as dangerous. Oh, and cabin overheat? It only lasts 12 hours anyway, and then it stops working. Are you one of those obsessive app checkers? Well, it could be depleting your battery as well if you're constantly on your phone and checking on your car to make sure everything's okay. Yeah, that's definitely a factor. Although in recent software updates, both to the app itself and the car, uh, Tesla is doing a good job in maintaining that uh, it's not as bad as it used to be. Also, if you just check the app, and do nothing else, you're gonna get the stats from previously. If you swipe down on the app, that will actually wake your car up for a time. It's about a half hour. So every time you wake up your car, it's gotta go through a whole process to get back to sleep again. So that could be wearing out your battery as well. So stop checking on your car, it's fine. Hey, if you're a full self-driving aficionado, I'm not, but you might be, and if you're using it, there is something called, and I had to get my notes out for this, enable standby mode for the summon feature. So don't do that because it's kind of not really sleeping then. It's always on alert and waiting for your uh, every word and, oh, does he need me? D does my human need me? Another reason your battery might be depleting all by itself as if it was poof, magic, <laughs> is are you using any third-party apps? I'm only using one. How do you know if you're using any third-party apps? Well, did you give your username and password to another company besides Tesla to get some data or whatever? That might be a, an indication that that app or service might be calling on your car more often than you want. Okay, this next reason is very, very recent. A recent software update gave us this feature in order to leave certain things on, maybe charging a phone or a refrigerator or other third-party accessory that you may want to keep on when you leave the car. And that is right here. Keep accessory power on. So if you don't want that on, obviously toggle it off like it's indicated right here. Definitely another situation that might be draining your battery. And the last reason, and it's the biggest reason why you might be experiencing battery drain while you leave your car and it's just sitting there doing nothing, at least in your mind, it's not doing anything. And that reason is sentry mode. So this is the single most important thing you want to turn off if you want to stop your battery drain. And an example of that would be an airport visit. If you're going on a trip and you're parking your car long term, I know you like the safety and peace of mind that sentry mode gives you, but at the same time, if you turn off sentry mode at an airport situation and you're leaving your car long term, you will return to your car with almost the same amount of battery as when you left. Because yes, 
even cabin overheat protection only lasts 12 hours. A lot of people like to comment on that online and say, oh, it's cabin overheat and it's sentry mode. And well, cabin overheat, like I said, and showed you earlier, only lasts for 12 hours. So yes, sentry mode is the biggest drain or draw on your battery when your Tesla is sitting. Now, Tesla has recently fixed this issue. It's draining less now. It used to be way, way more. So it's still doing a lot, but it's doing less than before, and hopefully they will continue uh, moving the ball forward and making this feature even better down the road. But that situation alone, you're leaving your car at the airport, turn off sentry mode. So let's go take a look at where all those settings are. Okay, so to find sentry mode, you tap on the car and you tap on safety, and it's right there at the top. So sentry uh, will be enabled when you leave the car. I have it set to auto enable sentry in park because I'm just going about my everyday business. I'm not, say, staying at an airport or anything. I also like to exclude it at home because I don't need it recording the inside of my garage constantly. That doesn't make any sense. On my wife's profile, she also excludes her work because she doesn't need it there. It's a secure location. Also, I have camera-based detection, disable sentry sounds, I have a view camera on the mobile app. So if you just want to turn off sentry mode, just toggle that off and you're good to go. You can also do that via the app. You can turn off sentry mode via the app if you're away. If you're on the airplane or at your destination and you realize, oh my gosh, I forgot to turn off sentry mode, you could still do that remotely with your app. All right, so there you have it. My seven reasons as to why your battery might be draining while you're gone from your car and you come back and you think, well, I wasn't doing anything. I didn't turn it on. I didn't turn the AC on. I didn't do any of that stuff. By the way, here's a bonus tip. Instead of using the cabin overheat protection, just turn on the AC about 10 minutes before you're about to get to your car, especially in the summer months, from the app, and you're gonna arrive to a ice cold car and it would be like a car was never even sitting. So there's a bonus tip for you. Instead of using the cabin overheat protection, it really doesn't do much except drain the battery. It's not protecting any electronics or anything inside the car. It says so in the manual. It's really designed if you forget a human in the back. All right, so what do you think? Did I get them all? I think I got most of them, if not all of them. If I forgot something, just let me know down in the comments. I'd love to mix it up and find out uh, what you're thinking about this whole thing. So hopefully that will help you uh, realize as to what is draining your battery when you leave your car for a certain amount of time and you come back and you lost some battery range. What's going on? There you go. I gave you a bunch of reasons. So if you enjoy this video, you enjoy this kind of content, you find value in this particular video, well, don't forget to hit the like button on this video as well as hit the subscribe button. It just takes seconds out of your day, but would mean the world to the channel and help us grow even further. So uh, don't forget to do those two things and I'll see you next time.